This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, March 19, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows heavy precipitation between Calgary and Regina. Lighter rain will be moving into Winnipeg overnight. The rest of Canada is clear, but the jet stream will be associated with these areas. In the U.S., the jet stream will pass over the Aleutian chain in the next two days. Light to moderate precipitation continues for the Pacific Northwest. Rain and snow mix is currently over a large portion of the west, from Montana down to the Mexican border. But the most significant weather is extending from central Texas up through Minnesota and has the potential for high winds and strong storms. Tornadoes may also be possible, especially in the south. As the jet stream is mostly north, these areas would not usually be considered high risk, but recent Geiger readings have recorded otherwise. It is safer to consider all precipitation for the U.S. to have potential fallout at this time. As readings are observed over the next few days, the concern will hopefully become less. Please see the fallout monitor links at FukushimaFacts.com. In Europe, Precipitation forecasts from the Weather Channel Europe and jet stream maps from Meteo France show the following countries to be at risk of possible fallout. Southern Spain, Northern England, all of Scandinavia, Greece, the northern coastal regions of Germany, Denmark, Poland, and Lithuania. Yerdep has iodine-131 and cesium-134 and 137 being detected around Croatia and Slovenia, as well as high gamma readings in France at this time. Nuke Report Nine Mile Point in New York had a loss of the alert system, which impacts the ability to readily notify a portion of the emergency planning zone population. San Onofre, California. More steam generator tubes failed pressure testing. The NRC continues to study this problem. Robinson, South Carolina. Refueling water tanks were improperly connected. In Callaway, Missouri. A backup diesel generator was declared non-functional. And in St. Lucie, Florida, a manual reactor trip due to anomalous behavior of a control element was observed. It has been said that complexity is the enemy of reliability. All resources used for today's forecast can be found at FukushimaFacts.com. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.